Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And with your spirit. Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Good morning, Good morning Father. Father. We are offering our Mass in a special way for the personal intentions of the UST Med Class 1966 and also for the eternal repose of the souls of the following Anastasia Salazar Santos Francisco Santos Victoria Marcena Rebote Nanita Mauricio San Diego Incarnacion Cabra Cabral Jose Valencia Anita Castro Flores, Cecilia Andrada, Joel Arago, Winston Casis, Victoria Mendoza Guevara, Edwin Nalagan, Piedad Huertas, Milagros Fernandez, Eliseo Saldivar. And we continue as well to pray for all the frontliners, especially the doctors and the nurses the medical personnel who continue to selflessly and wholeheartedly serve our sick brothers and sisters. They may be granted the blessings they need, especially protection from getting infected. And also healing for all the sick of COVID-19, that they may recover soon by the grace of God. On this first Saturday of the month of September, let us ask Our Lady to intercede for us for all our intentions and to bring our prayers to her son Jesus, that her son may grant them generously. And now, my brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Let us acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord for forgiveness and mercy. I confess, I confess to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly, greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, done and in, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God of mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us, O merciful God, protection in our weakness, that we who keep the memorial of the Holy Mother of God may with the help of her intercession rise up from our iniquities. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of Paul, to the Corinthians. God has put us apostles at the end of the line, like men doomed to die in the arena. We have become a spectacle to the universe, to angels in man alike. We are fools in Christ's account. Ah, but in Christ you are wise. We are the weak ones, you the strong. We honor you while they sneer at us. Up to this very hour, we go hungry and thirsty, poorly clad, roughly treated, wandering about homeless. 
we work hard at manual labor. When we are insulted, we respond with a blessing. Persecution comes our way. We bear it patiently. We are slandered. And we try conciliation. We have become the world's refuse, the scum of all. That is the present state of affairs. I am writing you this way not to shame you, but to admonish you as my beloved children. Grant you have a 10,000 10, guardians in Christ. You have only one Father. It was I who begot you in Christ Jesus through my preaching of the gospel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is near to all who call him. The, the Lord, Lord is near to all who call on Him. The Lord is just in all His ways, and holy in all His works. The Lord is near to all who call upon Him, to all who call upon Him in truth. The Lord, the Lord is near to all who call Him. He fulfills the desire of those who fear Him. He hears their cry and saves them. The Lord keeps all who love Him but all the wicked he will destroy. The, the Lord is near to all who call him. My mouth speak the praise of the Lord. In me all bless, bless his holy name forever and ever. The Lord is near to all who call him. Let us all stand to honor the Holy Gospel. Jesus said to them, Have you not read what David did when he and his men were hungry? How he entered God's house and took and ate the holy bread and gave it to his men, even though only priests are allowed to eat it. Then he said to them, The Son of Man is Lord, even of the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. So, my brothers and sisters, good morning once again. And uh, on this first Saturday of the month of September, it's already the birth. And uh, we are already entering the spirit of Christmas in the midst of all this pandemic, all the the difficulties we are still are facing today. We ask Our Lady, as we honor her today, to continue to intercede for us 
in all our prayers, our intentions, our requests to our loving God, especially for the final end of this pandemic that cause, is causing a lot of trouble in the whole world. Just two things uh, I invite you to journey with me as we reflect on the gospel today. First is about the rules or the laws, the regulations we have that the gospel is today, in the words of Jesus, uh, opening us to what is essential about laws. And second is about the word Sabbath, about this great practice of honoring the Sabbath, making it holy. In this time of pandemic, we know we are given a lot of rules and regulations. No, we cannot go out without the masks, without the face shields, social distancing and so on. You know, just uh, two days ago, we had to secure some documents for travel and we went to the city hall. Imagine five o'clock in the morning because uh, we were told already that uh, early dawn there will be a long line already and in fact when we arrived there it was a long line. We arrived there past five and we took the queue, good that there were chairs where we could sit and we were only entertained at almost 10 o'clock, so almost five hours. And particularly each one really has to obey the rules. But you know what was striking to me was, because it's part of the, uh, the, the rule that even sick people who need to travel have to be physically present in that place where the doctor will give the medical travel clearance. And they were on the wheelchair. The good thing, so we say the exceptions that they got was they were given priorities. Even if they arrived at 8.30 or what, they were given entertained first. For us who, were, or who arrived at 5, we have to wait for our turn. This was an exception for them because of their condition, their situation. And I pity them. But that is how the, the law, the rule, is followed, but at least they were given a special, uh, should we say, consideration. They were given the first opportunities. And this is what Jesus is telling us in the Gospel. Today we have heard that the Pharisees and the scribes were telling Jesus, why are your disciples, even you, no? You are not observing the law of the Sabbath, which is you know, eating the grain, pulling, and then all these, these three things that they were doing, shelling, and then eating them, were not allowed. But Jesus said, wait, wait, have you remembered David? When he entered the temple, they were hungry, and the food, the bread that was supposed to be only for priests, even his companions were given, were able to eat. As we always say, there is an exception to the rule. When it is about welfare and for the good of people, it, it should be the surmounting priority. It should be the criteria. It is the spirit of the law, in fact. So that's why Jesus, in the end, at the end of the gospel, tells us, the Son of Man is Lord even on the Sabbath. What is it trying to say? That charity, love, welfare, and the good of other people should be the spirit that we should follow when laws are to be implemented. Because after all, the laws are there for that purpose. To make people have the welfare to put order and to protect and all the other good things that people will get from observing them. So that's why in another version of the Gospel, 
Jesus would tell us, laws are made for men, not men for laws. So, we have to bend certain regulations so as to accommodate the very, very welfare, the well-being of a person. You know, I often give this an example. Following traffic rules. Yes, we follow. But you know, when there is an ambulance or a fire truck, what do they do? They do not follow. Even if it's red, they can go. Why? Because it is meant for the welfare of those they are responding. So this is the first uh, very, very interesting and very nice insight that, that we can be guided when we are to implement and to apply the laws and the rules. What is really the spirit of the law that we have to show for our brothers and sisters welfare and goodness. The second is about the Sabbath. The Sabbath is as we know, it is the second commandment, make holy the Sabbath. We know that in the book of Genesis, in the creation story, God worked for six days, and on the seventh day, what did he do? Rest. And that is the rest, the Sabbath. So the Sabbath is, first and foremost, a day or a time for rest. You know, uh, as the doctors we are offering this Mass for their intentions. Most, if not all of them, are retired. So it's like your retirement is like the time for your Sabbath. It's a time to rest from all the years of hard work in the hospitals taking care of the sick. Like God, God also rested. So this is the time. All those who have retired, this is the Sabbath time for you. So first, take time to rest. It is God's way of doing to take time to rest. And the second is, as we are also invited in the book of Genesis, God, who created, after creating, He relished, He enjoyed looking at what He had created. And in fact, He even said, and He saw it was very good. I think this is the invitation also for us, for you who are already given this time of the Sabbath in your life to relish and be grateful and be overwhelmed of what great things you have done as doctors or teachers in your life. And thank God for all that He has done in you and through you the many thousands and maybe hundreds and hundreds of thousands of patients you have cured, you have healed through your profession. And the last is, Sabbath is also the time to make holy. The day, the time. What is it to make holy? Is to bring God, to put God as part of, of our gratitude, of our relishing, because everything, in fact, is the work of God. And we have to worship God, to spend time for God, and say, Lord, it has been you working in me, and I thank you for that. We worship you, we praise you. And this is the spirit of the Sabbath, that we are also asked to observe Six days of work, Sunday, take time to rest. And relish what you have done during these five or six days. And tell God how grateful you are. Worship, spend time to worship the God who made all things possible for you during the time you have worked from Monday to Saturday. Or for the life you have worked in your profession. So as we continue in this Mass, we thank God for this opportunity to be inspired by the readings. And we continue to pray for all the medical personnel who continue to struggle to give their lives, to risk their lives, to take care of the sick. Because they are truly our living heroes of our time. May God bless them and reward them 
a thousand fold. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for at your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we have received. The wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual train. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Let us pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the grace and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we honor the memory of the mother of your Son, we pray, O Lord, that the oblation of this sacrifice may by your grace make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We give them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is it right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exalted praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Sana in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Sana in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chance, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Francisco Santos, Victoria Marcia, Marcena Rebote, Nanita Mauricio San Diego, Encarnación Cabral, Jose Valencia, Anita Castro Flores, Cecilia Andrada, Joel Arago, Winston Casis, Victoria Mendoza Guevara, Edwin Nalagan, Piedad Puertas, Milagros Fernandez, Eliseo Saldivar. And we also pray for our confreres, our priests and brothers, whose death anniversary we remember today. In 1937, died Father Martin Ronde. He died in Schiemark in the Netherlands. In 1942, died Brother Paul Audrin. He died in Chantenay in France. In 1958, died Brother Karel Billion. He died in Eindhoven in the Netherlands. In 1971, died Father Maurice de Jong. He died in Valkenburg in the Netherlands. In 2005, died Father Louis Corre. He died in saint laurent sur sèvre France. And lastly, in 2017, died Father Joseph Gagnard. He died in Toiret sur Loire in France. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face and have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Louis Marie de Montfort, St. John Paul II, Blessed Marie Louise of Jesus, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Sa pamamagitan ng Kristo, kasama niya at sa kanya, ang lahat ng parangal at papuri ay sa iyo, Diyos sama, makapangyarihan kasama ng Espiritu Santo. Magpasa walang hanggan.
men and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Lord, look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord Jesus be with you always. And in your spirit. And let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, the Son of God and the Son of Mary. Is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, happy are we, called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that they should, should enter under my roof, but I will say the word, and my soul shall be healed. of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
He who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. Let us pray. Having been made partakers of eternal redemption, we pray, O Lord, that we who commemorate the mother of your Son may glory in the fullness of your grace and experience its continued increase for our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let's now pray the Oratio Imperata. God of our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19. Let us disturb and even claim lies. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. Saint Pedro Calumsor. Pray for us. Saint Louis Marie de Montfort. Pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration of the Holy Mass is ended. Let us go to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh,